Have you ever wondered why RNA metabolism is so crucial in our cells? You see, cells are like bustling cities with countless processes happening simultaneously. Among these, RNA metabolism stands as a central hub, akin to a city's central station. It's a complex process involving the synthesis, processing, degradation, and quality control of RNA. Each step is meticulously orchestrated, ensuring that our cells function smoothly. Think of RNA synthesis as the birth of a new citizen, stepping into the world brimming with potential. Processing then shapes this citizen, equipping them with the skills needed to contribute to the cell's functioning. But life isn't always smooth sailing, and sometimes our RNA citizens need a little help. That's where degradation and quality control come in, ensuring that any damaged or abnormal RNA is taken care of. One key player in this complex process is polynucleotide phosphorylase, or PNPase for short. First, let's delve into PNPase's role in RNA degradation. Now, RNA degradation might sound like a destructive process, but it's actually a vital part of RNA metabolism. You see, it's all about balance. Just as our cells are constantly creating new RNA molecules, they also need to break down the old ones to maintain equilibrium. This is where polynucleotide phosphorylase comes in. Acting as an exonucleus, PNPase methodically removes nucleotides from the end of RNA strands. Picture it as a meticulous editor, trimming away the excess from a manuscript to keep it concise and relevant. But why is this so important? Well, RNA degradation aids in regulating gene expression and controlling the life cycle of RNA molecules within the cell. It's a sort of recycling mechanism, if you will, allowing cells to reuse these components for new RNA synthesis. So, as you can see, PNPase is a vital component in maintaining the balance of RNA in our cells through degradation. But PNPase doesn't stop at degradation. It also plays a role in RNA polymerization. Now, this might sound a bit counterintuitive given its degradation activities, but let's dive into it. You see, PNPase can double as a polymerase, synthesizing RNA in a direction that's quite rare in biology, from 3' to 5' prime, or 3 to 5. This isn't some random occurrence, though. This polymerase activity of PNPase is actually involved in specific RNA repair and processing pathways. Imagine it like a handyman, not just breaking things down, but also building and repairing where necessary. So while it's busily removing nucleotides from the end of RNA strands, it's also capable of constructing new RNA. This dual functionality of PNPase, degradation and polymerization, gives it a unique and crucial role in maintaining the balance of RNA metabolism in the cell. PNPase's polymerization activity further cements its significance in RNA metabolism. Let's not forget about quality control. PNPase also contributes to maintaining the quality and integrity of RNA molecules. You see, PNPase is like the diligent inspector on a production line, constantly scanning for any flaws or abnormalities. Its job is to identify and remove any RNA strands that are damaged or simply not up to standard. This surveillance process is continuous and rigorous, because even a tiny error in the RNA can have substantial consequences for the cell. PNPase is particularly adept at recognizing abnormal or damaged RNAs. Once it identifies these faulty molecules, it steps into action, removing them from the cellular pool. This cleanup process is vital, as it ensures the overall quality of RNA within the cell. Without it, the cell could end up using defective RNA, which could lead to all sorts of problems. RNA quality control is another key function of PNPase, showcasing its multifaceted nature. Interestingly, PNPase also has a role to play when bacteria encounter cold temperatures. Picture this. A bacterium is suddenly plunged into a chilly environment. This sudden drop in temperature is known as a cold shock. Now, in response to this cold shock, the bacterium must adapt quickly to survive. And this is where PNPase steps in. This trusty enzyme helps the bacterium by stabilizing and processing RNA structures under these low temperature conditions. When the temperature drops, the RNA molecules within the bacterium can become unstable and dysfunctional. To prevent this, PNPase works tirelessly to maintain the integrity of these RNA molecules, ensuring that they continue to function properly even in the harshest of cold conditions. In essence, PNPase acts like a cellular winter coat for bacteria, safeguarding their RNA and helping them weather the storm of a cold shock. This unique role of PNPase in cold shock response further demonstrates its multifunctional capabilities. 
As we have learned, PN Pays is not a one-trick pony. It has multiple roles in RNA metabolism. Let's recap these diverse and critical functions. Firstly, PN Pace is a workhorse in the degradation of RNA molecules. It acts as an exonucleus, methodically removing nucleotides from the end of RNA strands. This might seem like a demolition job, but it's actually an essential part of the RNA life cycle. Secondly, PN Pace is also a master builder. It can act as a polymerase, synthesizing RNA in the 3 to 5 direction. This function is not just about building new RNA molecules, but also comes into play in certain RNA repair and processing pathways. Thirdly, PN Pays is a vigilant quality control inspector. It helps maintain the quality and integrity of RNA molecules within the cell. It's on constant lookout for abnormal or damaged RNAs, ensuring they are swiftly removed. And finally, in bacteria, PN Pays is a cold shock responder. It helps the cell adapt to cold temperatures by stabilizing and processing RNA structures under these challenging conditions. These multifunctional roles of PNPs make it a key player in RNA metabolism. It's like a multi-talented performer on the stage of the cell, taking on different roles as needed. Whether it's breaking down old RNA, building new ones, ensuring RNA quality, or responding to cold shock, PNPs is there, ready to perform its part. But why does this matter? Well, each of these functions contributes to the overall maintenance of cellular RNA homeostasis. That's a fancy way of saying that PN Pace helps keep the RNA in the cell in a stable and balanced state. And that, my friends, is absolutely crucial for the health and function of the cell. PN Pace truly is a key player in the dynamic regulation of RNA metabolism. It's fascinating, isn't it? The world of biology never ceases to amaze.